Namaste, Sincha. Good evening, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great honor to be invited here to perform at this dance festival, Ritpyotsab, organized by the Sangeet Nautak Academy, New Delhi. And before I begin, I would like to say my heartfelt thanks to the National Sangeet Nautak Academy, Teva Deviji, Malika uh, Swamiji, all the committee members of Sangeet Nautak Academy, the wonderful host, and all the support that they have given us, to me and my team of musicians, and for inviting us here. Thank you very much. And thank you all for coming. This evening, my performance of Khotriya Nitto is a new repertoire which evolves from the old traditional repertoire of Khotriya dance, but combines the different musical and textual traditions of Khotriya dance. Khotriya dance was evolved in the late 16th century by the great Vaishnavite saint philosopher Sri Hankurdeo in Assam. For those of you who might know, obviously, his name. And it has now been, of course, being accepted as a classical dance form. And I take this opportunity again to thank the Sangeet Natak Academy for nurturing solo traditions, dance traditions, because it's very rare in India today to promote solo artists and young generation in solo art form. So thank you again, Sangeet Natak Academy, for promoting solo concert art forms today in India, because we need that. We need to, to nurture the individuality and the creativity of Indian artists, otherwise we do not exist. So thank you once again for promoting solo forms. This evening I begin with a very bhakti-oriented form, Guru Bandana. It's a meditative prayer in praise of Sri Hongkurtil. Jaya Guru Hongkur, Harba Gunakara, the one who is endowed with all the virtues, to him we repeatedly bow. It is a short meditative poem composed in Khotriya style. Guru Bandana. And thank you. Namaste.
Hansen musicologist, I've always been fascinated with the rare traditional musical repertoires. And when we talk about musical repertoires in Assam, and particularly in the traditional musical scene, I'd like, I've been working for many years since, of course, at the Oxford University, I got my PhD. But coming back to my roots, I travel quite a lot. But what has been very included is about traditions that has never been heard before, never before on the concert art stage as Hotry dance music. So it led me to go into the roots and I've been fascinated with the rich musical heritage and repertoire of the Borpeta Monastery, the Borpeta Hotro in Lower Assam, which is very well known for its rich musical traditions. And today we have with us a very fine artist, Sridhi Paul Oja, who has worked with me for many years and recently we went on an ICCR tour to Australia, New Zealand, where we worked on these unique sound components and the musical traditions and brought them alive again in a new avatar onto the concert art stage to accompany dance music. There are very unique bonds, which is very unique to this Bopeta Monastery, and Dipuloja is a very fine artist, and I will introduce him again at the end. You would notice this particular piece that I have chosen for this evening is called Probechnito, an introductory piece which has both composed in Sutatal and Tukunital has unique bowls. Kitak day town, kitak day town, kitak day town, kitak day town. Kita dini kitak kura kitan kita dini kitak kura kitan kita dini kitak kura kitan kita dini kitak kura kita. Take no, take dina, take rak de ta ta kita kit dina, rak de ta kit de ta kit de na de na de ta, rak de ta kit de ta kit de na de na de ta, take it out, take it out, take rak de ta ta kita kit de no. It is usually performed in the Hutchatari tradition, the male dance traditions within the monasteries. What we have done research was to bring some elements of that musical repertoire and present it as Probechnito for this evening. He is presenting Probechnito, a composition originally from the Borpeta Monastery in Assam. Zoyo Krishna Buli Haribo
this piece is on Bordwood. A tradition that was developed by my mother guru, Srimati Vira Pitiboro, one of the first women pioneers to take up this tradition way back in the 1950s, when Hotchi was still within the confines of the monastery, to learn it and to bring it to the outside world. And she's done a lot of work to bring different musical traditions, and this particular one is a war gate, the classical Assamese compositions, being used for the dance using Khotria choreographic times. And these are like short pieces written by the great Vaishnava Sri Kokodeo and his disciple Sri Madhavdeo. The one I have chosen today is by Madhavdeo. Shankadeva's disciple. And this is a very beautiful piece that describes on a very early morning at the dawn in the group of beautiful Vrindavan, perhaps, the Krishna is to be seen, is to be felt, and is to be experienced by the Bhakta. It is through the power of the imagination that Krishna emerges in the beautiful Vrindavan while he's playing with his mates. The girls were often wondering to get a glimpse of Krishna. The gopis forgetting their daily tasks and running across to hear Krishna. That Krishna on his waist moves and dances and inspires us.
four gate. We now move on to a very traditional piece, yet choreographed specially for this evening as a solo form, and it is the well-known rapato, the pure dance, the nritya piece of Hotria rapato. It's a Jumura nitta. For those of you who might not be familiar with the Jumura, Jumura piece has got all the characteristics, movements, salient features of Hotria dance. The Padacharis, the Hastas, Hatsalon, the Brahmaris, the Japs, all of them comprised together. Of course, it's a very much longer piece when you perform in the traditional piece, but what you're going to see today is a shorter piece, Jumura. And before I move on to Jumura, I would like to take this opportunity to thank my very special band of musicians this evening. We have with us on Colin Portal, Sri Bipul Oja. <laughs> Sri Oja is a very fine and talented Oja Pali Hilpi, a Hotria dancer, a musician who has recently won the Junior Fellowship from the Ministry of Culture, New Delhi, for his research work on coal. We've worked together for many years. He's a very fine artist today, and I'm very happy he could come here and join me. A very fine artist, Bipul Oja. <laughs> on vocal support, we have Sri Dev Hongkor Bormon. Sri Bormon is a very well-trained and well-known Borgit singer and Hindustani classical vocalist who has performed widely across festivals around the country and has many students to his credit and he continues to work within the Hotria music scene. And I'm very happy that Sri Bormon is here today because it's due to your Ashirvad that we continue to perform. And we have with us another very special flutist musician, very popular today, Sri Prahanna Barwa. <laughs> Sri Barwa has recently formed his own unique musical band, which he calls as Hurar Jinjiri, the amalgamation of different folk melodies, unheard folk melodies of Assam and Northeast India and combines it into his group. He performs widely across many festivals and has performed in Russia and other parts of the world, ICCR, so has Bipul and my other team members. So we're very happy to be here and thank you presenting Jumura Nitta. Not as an ending, as we have many artists coming together, but as a following to the movement. And I also like to bring into this Jumura my own little touch, which is about creating within the abstract Nritya piece, an aspect of Abhinaya. That Abhinaya comes from the essence of Bhakti, if we can bring that. And this is what I wanted to incorporate for this evening. I'm not sure how far I will be able to do it, but I leave that to your expert eyes. Jumura, with an essence of Bhakti.